Along with the tradition of turkey and all the trimmings, Thanksgiving weekend also brings the tradition of decking the halls. Let's head into the craft corner for an ornament project that will also keep the kids busy on their days off from school. I'm calling this like the bonus gift. We are meeting up with Deborah Romero from Old Time St. Nick's and you are going to be part of the Hard Candy Christmas show that's coming up also after Thanksgiving. But today you stopped by to share a small or a, a, a miniaturized version of what you do. You bring Santa to life, full-size Santas, right? Six footers. Wow. And these ornaments that are hanging here are kind of a little idea of what they look like, right? Right. Now, their faces, how do you sculpt their faces and, and do this? I sculpt their faces out of polymer clay. Um, I have a base that I work on. Normally you would use aluminum foil to mm -hmm. form a, a ball and then form the clay around it. But I have a, a resin base that I use and I sculpt my piece. I make the hands. I do as much of the work as I can. I turn my own bagpipes. I do the woodworking. I These are amazing Santas, people. I'm telling you, phenomenal. But today you're going to give us kind of the um, the starter version, this, the beginning right, lesson. beginning version. What are we making that we could pull off? <laughs> okay. This is polymer clay, which you can put in your pasta machine, or you can roll it out. They, they make these rollers and available at Michael's or Joanne's or wherever. Mm -hmm. Cookie cutters, ornament cookie cutters. Oh, that's easy. Easy. You press it in there. You put this first on a oven safe tray or tile or whatever. Okay. You bake it. You then sculpt your face. Mm -hmm. You do this in, in a gold Look at that. background. That's beautiful. That's an easy background. Sculpting the face is a little bit time consuming. Mm -hmm. Children can get very creative with this. So, <laughs> however, that works. Santas will yes, turn some out, interesting right? Santas. You use a little of the um, sculpty bacon bond on the back of that. You bond that together and okay. bake it again. Then you start adding the beard. As oh, you add the beard, you, you just form there's it around glitter. there and sca there's glitter in this one. You don't have to use glitter. Kids love glitter, so they do. You know, in everything, kids just love glitter. Then after you're finished baking your, your beard, you can make your hat and oh, leaves. That. I antique it after I'm through with an antiquing solution. Uh-huh. Spray it with a, a, a fixant. Isn't he adorable? Put yourself a hanger on there and you have a cute little ornament. And you can actually just use these as ornaments. Let the kids paint on them. That's pretty enough as it is right there. I think that would be beautiful. Now, let me ask you a question. You're here, you live in Georgia, but you came up for the Hard Candy Christmas show. That is taking place on the Friday and Saturday following Thanksgiving, right? Right. This is a huge show, though. Really is. 110 crafters this year. Wow. She's, she's spread out to the outside this year, so and it's pretty big. It is amazing. And you know what? Let me tell you first how you can get the instructions to make these beautiful little ornaments that Deborah is sharing with us. Go to our website, WLOS.com, click on craft corner and we'll get you set that way and you'll be all set for these incredible designs then also let me tell you where you can go meet Deborah in person and see some of these phenomenal Santas that she has the 25th annual hard candy Christmas fine art and craft show is November 23rd and 24th at the Western Carolina University Ramsey Center and as she mentioned and spilling outside of it and the shows are 10 to 5 each day. Um, for more information, go to our website, click on more info. We'll get you all set that way. Deborah, thank you so much for sharing a, a little bit of what it takes to make these phenomenal Santas come to life. Those They're gorgeous. Cool.